What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have a lot of brand new WWE action figures, fix-ups, and customs. Alright guys, as you see, we have about 8 figures to cover here today. Got some brand new WWE action figures that I got in the mail, some fix-ups I have done over the past few days, and a brand new painted custom to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. The first figure I have for you guys is the Fan Central Toys R Us exclusive Triple H in the red trunks from 2003. Looking absolutely fantastic. I This figure was a must for me. I actually got this in a trade with Angelino Collector on Instagram, as you see on your screen there. Go give him a follow. Awesome guy. Um, we conducted a trade. I put in my story, you know, I wanted this figure, and he hit me up, and he delivered, and it looks great, man. I love this figure so much. It included all the accessories, World Heavyweight title, water bottle, and sledgehammer. Love the new head scan, love the red trunks. I have quite the Triple H uh, figures now. If you guys would like to see a Triple H collection video, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. Love Triple H so much. I have a ton of figures uh, left to get of his, but um, this was a very nice one to add to the collection. The next figure I have, guys, is this Elite 44 Braun Strowman fix-up. All I did was take my old Elite 44 Braun Strowman for, with the uh, custom head scan from BEW and swapped it with one of my Braun Strowman basic heads, and I think it looks a lot better. Now I have like three different attires for Braun Strowman to wear, so I think it looks pretty cool. I'm digging the orangish brown pants with this head scan. I wish it was the yelling head scan. Maybe we'll get a basic Braun to throw on there or something like that, but I think it was a pretty cool fix-up to see. I don't think I had seen anybody do it just yet, but it's just a simple fix-up, but I thought it'd be cool to throw in to show you guys. Next up, we have three different Matt Hardys to show you guys. As you see, we have the WWE Shop exclusive right here, and it is a head swap with an older basic. I think I got like three of these head scans from Taobao. It's like a Chinese online site. I'll have to do a video on it on it someday. G Natty did do a video on it before, but um, I got a few of those head scans on there, so I knew as soon as this figure came in, I wanted to do the head swap. Now I have like a Ruthless Aggression looking Hardy. Um, I still want to get another one to have the uh, ponytail head scan on there, maybe change the attire, but I do love the way this Matt Hardy came out. And then the second one um, is just a head swap between the entrance greats and the new Elite 58, and I think this looks cool. I think that uh, Hopeless Emotion on Instagram also wanted me to do this head swap, so I went ahead and did that just to uh, sh see what it looks like, and I think it came out great. I think both figures look great, can pass off for Matt Hardy. I'll probably keep it like this for a while. Um, depending on what I want to see, but I do like the way all three of these fix-up Matt Hardys came out, and I would love to see um, how the new SummerSlams look. Maybe I can do some more head swaps when that releases. Next up, we have this fix-up John Cena in the orange attire, and I'm not liking this head scan. I want to switch it for something else just because I don't think it sits right on the body. It makes him look really short and stocky or stubby. I don't really like the way that looks. However, um, I had to have this attire, so I went with the blue shorts. The shoes aren't accurate. I do got to paint up the new shoes or wait for the Elite 60 to get the shoes accurate, but um, I do like this, the orange and blue attire with the blue shorts. Orange shirt, Elite 54 hat and arms, and head scan. Again, I do want to switch to head scan because I'm not feeling that, but I'm very happy to add this John finally to my collection. It's very overdue, so now I'm looking to get the lime green attire done. I've been wanting to get that done for quite a while now, so hopefully soon I'll have it done. The next fix-up I have, guys, is this new Elite 58 Cesaro fix-up. What I did was switch the right arm with a Finn Balor basic to give it that black sleeve look. Um, and in the knee pads, I did a lower leg swap and then came in with knee pads. Put the white large knee pads behind the black um, sort of Randy Orton uh, knee pads. Not the ones he wears in real life, but the ones they always give his figures. Um, and I went down, changed the lower legs to Bo Dallas lower legs, I believe. And then I put Alberto Del Rio boots on there. I will have to do a switch, obviously. I want to get some Elite 43 Alberto Del Rio boots because they're more accurate. Acetone, the logo's off. Still got to do that as well. But um, I like this Cesaro. I think it works perfect for him. I like the longer boots look. And I actually have a picture. Maybe I can bring it up to show you why I did this. I also thought about removing these black knee pads and just painting the face of the white ones black instead of having this look. And, like, I don't know. What do you guys think? I want to know your... Comments down in the comment section. Definitely let me know what you think of this Cesaro fix-up. And um, I am digging the way it came out, though. Here's a little back shot of it. There is a hole in the knee pad. I actually was heating it up trying to get it over these large knee pads. Very tough thing to do, and it did tear. But um, I am happy with the way it came out. Please let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section. And the last figure I have for you guys is a fully painted custom. As you know, in my custom Batista versus Mattel Batista video, I said that I wanted to do a custom, a new custom with the older 
uh, WrestleMania 21 Batista, and this is the result, guys. I went in on my story. You guys said I should do a fantasy attire, so that's what I did. I came in, did a black and gold attire. As you can see, the trunks say the animal in gold with white outline on the black trunks. And on the back, I custom painted this Batista logo on there. And I'm happy with the way it came out. I didn't want um, that logo of him with the slashes going through it, so I went with my own... Um, favorite logo of Batista's. I just always love that B logo, so I went with that. I am happy with the way it came out, and I love the way the boots came out as well. I put that shiny gloss on there with the gold to cover the red, and I think it came out amazing. I am loving this Batista. Even though it's not accurate to any attire he wore, I am um, happy with this attire. It just sort of popped in my head, so I went with it. Please let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of it. I am loving it, like I said. Black and gold looks very great together. And I don't know, I think the boots are really what does it for me and the logo on the back. I love that logo. I wish he would have used that more often on his attires. But yes, let me know what you think of this Batista down below. But that about does it for all of the new WWE figures and fix-ups and customs I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, down in the comment section below, let me know what your favorite figure is from this little collection of sorts right here. Let me know what you think of each individual figure as well. Leave a like, subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.